This is from the Bleacher Report. <clears throat> Best landing spots for top available NBA free agents. For John Wall, they say the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland can use another ball handling guard in the backcourt to provide some injury assurance while everyone heals up and Ricky Rubio hopefully makes a return. If Wall can accept a role as a pass first guard off the bench and occasional spot starter, the Cavs could use his services. Uh, <clears throat> Sam, I'm, I am not seeing that in the future for John Wall. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree with you. I I just don't think, you know, look, the Cavs are big still on Ty Jerome, uh, who's who's playing the backup to Darius Garland when they when he's healthy. Right now, you know, the Cavs just seem so desperate because both the starter in Garland and the backup in uh Ty Jerome are out. So it makes it seem like they really need to go get somebody. Obviously the Ricky Rubio situation being what it is, it's still a mystery. Uh, if and when he returns. So I, I think the Cavs will be fine uh, with Garland and Jerome. Now, granted, you, we've seen what happens when one gets injured. And we're seeing what happens when both get injured. So, yeah, maybe you could use a third stringer, though, at this point right now. I think that you have to like what you see from Craig Porter Jr., the two-way rookie who went undrafted out of Wichita State, had a very nice game. Uh, against New York on Tuesday night. So I don't think that they need to go out and get a veteran. I, I always liked John Wall, big fan, but I just don't think he'd be somebody who would fit uh, because obviously older player hasn't played in a while, hasn't been on a team in a while. Uh, just probably not the answer or solution that they need. Their, their solution, just they just need to get healthy. They don't need to add any pieces at this point, I don't think.